Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Fringe Reaction. This is Season 1, Episode 8, The Equation. We're starting to develop some sort of season storyline, some sort of uh, bigger picture. But how the pieces fit together, as yet I am unsure. We seem to have a lot of... A lot of threads, some of which must be false, false threads. The last maybe couple of episodes have seemed a lot less episodic than before. So it is still quite episodic and I'm not expecting it to be any different just yet. I do know that it becomes the bigger picture um, will start to come through soon, but not quite yet. So it's it's just following the journey, seeing the clues, seeing what pieces are relevant and what pieces are not relevant. Uh, the Observer, seen him a couple of times, but yeah, he's, he's, he's not as easy to spot on the first time round as one might suppose. <laughs> I thought he would be very obvious once once you know he's there but um, apparently not not to me anyway right i won't keep you waiting any longer are those notes you're writing ben yes i thought we talked about this Taking a break from the music. So you have time for other things. Oh, just be thankful that he's got a hobby. I can't say the same for my car. It kind of shuddered and then stopped and my phone's dead. Well, hold on. Be right back. Uh, th <coughs> this seems a bit ominous. Green light, red light. What's that all about? Oh, he's hypnotizing him. Okay, easy. Didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. I, I didn't. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Uh, listen. Sorry, it took so long. Ben. Ben. She kidnapped the kid. Well. We knew there was something dodgy about her. So she's going around flashy lights at people and it, stealing their children. Is it because he's a musical prodigy? The father claims that while he was looking at the woman's car, something happened. He said it was like time jumped. And his son, the woman, and her car were suddenly gone. So he just blacked out. In a statement he gave police, he insisted he never lost consciousness. Any other witnesses to back up the dad's story? No, but this is not the first time this has happened. These there are three we files go. of three other missing person cases dating back ten years. In each one, witnesses describe seeing the same woman. But they're all academics. A probability theorist, structural engineer. If we're looking at a serial abduction, then a ten-year-old kid really doesn't fit the bill. No. But other than that, the details surrounding his disappearance are identical to the others. Interacting with the so woman... It's musical ability. The police grilled my brother for hours. They treated him like a suspect. I know what I saw. She was real. Why doesn't anybody believe We're him? We're wasting time. We need to find Ben. No, I believe you. In fact, we think that the same woman may be involved in a number of other abductions. This has happened before? Why would anyone want to take my son? I don't know. Honestly, he doesn't really fit the profile of the other victims. Nine months ago, my wife was walking Ben to school. Some idiot late for a dentist appointment ran a red light and they were hitting a crosswalk abby was killed doctors told me they didn't know ben was going to make it either he was in a coma for six days and when he woke up it's easier if i just show you this is the day i took him home from the hospital he hadn't spoken said even a word since I told him his mother died. And we got home, and he just sat down at the piano and started to play. 
He's very talented. He's never been told. Before this, he had never taken a single lesson. His doctors told me there have been other cases, people with severe brain traumas, waking up with the ability to do things they'd never done before. Two weeks later, he was composing his own music. One piece in particular. Well, I have something better for you. There's someone else here who would very much like to see you. I don't care! I want to see my dad! Oh, well, your mother will be very disappointed to hear that. My mom's dead. Are you sure about that? What? So the mother might not be dead? Stare at the lights. Yeah. Is it working? Sorry, Walter. Better luck next time. Anyone ready for lunch? <laughs> What's up, Chachi? Did you do this to me? <laughs> I think we may have ID'd another abductee. Dashiell Kim, headed up astrophysics at UMass, went missing in May 2006, turned up a week later at his home outside Clarksburg, where he had a psychotic break, bludgeoned his wife to death with a tire iron. He was committed to St. Clair's Hospital. I don't know how a guy that can do this to his own wife is going to help you find that missing kid. Oh, there's lots of equations there. I wonder which one is the one that the the episode is about. Because there's math in music, so they're obviously trying to crack some sort of code or something, and they're using all these people to crack it. No. Hi, Bean. That's Mum. I take it. How and why, though? Mom. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you too, Bean. That woman was looking at Mum very, very weirdly there. Or at Ben very weirdly. There may be a way we can work this out. I'm missing. You've assured me that Walter Bishop is doing fine. If that's the case... I'll allow Walter Bishop to talk to Mr. Kim yeah, and ask your questions. It might do Dash and good to see a familiar face. Yeah, he's a familiar face, yeah, so it won't freak him out too much. And of course, Walter actually knows the questions to ask. I'd rather not go. Right. Walter. Olivia, he said no. That is incorrect. I'd rather not go. But I will. <laughs> Every moment that passes is another moment that little boy's life is in danger. I don't think his life is in danger, though. Well, his sanity may be. From all accounts, they've abducted these people to try and finish the equation, and when they failed, they've dumped them back again. And then they've gone mad, but they're not overt, they're not directly endangering anyone's life. Oh, yeah, but they are, kind of, if they know the consequences. It's a very difficult, uh, hmm, forget I said anything. And I can't watch him without hearing him speak in the death voice from Bill and Ted. Do you not remember the woman with the red and green light where she died? I don't do math anymore! Oh dear, he set off a, uh, a chain reaction there. You used to tell me the story all the time. You used to drive me crazy. Don't do math. I don't care about math. Where is she? Please, Dad, tell me what you What do you mean you sedated him? 
Yeah, well, yeah. Legally in my custody. You have no right to keep him here. Not only do I have every right to hold him, I have a responsibility to hold him. He accosted Mr. Kim. Yeah. If I release him and something else happens... I can assure you that's not going to happen. But this might be good. This might be where he does find out the, the truth of it. <laughs> oh, okay. He's being visited by himself. By his own memories. By his own subconscious. I can't. I don't know how it ends. Oh, Christ. Mom? It's what's keeping her alive. Please, I don't want to go away. Well, that's up to Ben, isn't it? Mom. What are you doing to her? If you lose her again, you'll only have yourself to blame. Oh, pressure. <laughs> so what, that the solving the equation, or at least attempting to solve the equation, is what keeps the... Oh, I don't know. Keeps them alive. Keeps them corporeal. Everything she promised. It was all a lie. None of it was real. Oh, right. Oh, wow. She hurt me. She put me in a dungeon. She filled my mind with images of people I loved. And then tortured them. Ripping them apart. All the while trying to suck the answer she wanted out of my head. Okay, this woman is but evil. I couldn't, I couldn't give her what she wanted. Where were you, Dash? I told you a dungeon. <laughs> no, not some fantasy you'd need to it. Where were you really? Dungeon, a dungeon in a red castle. You listen, you man. It was just a dream. Just a bad dream. Uh, I think you've pushed him a little bit too far there. Did he get anything? Uh, he just said the guy was babbling on, talking about... Red Castle! Red Castle! He did what he could. I am just right. he's okay. Yeah, me too. If any Red Castles appear, I'll let you know. Sure. Isn't that... Wasn't that one just right there? Right there! Yay! But this is going to have no conclusion. I want to know what the equation's all about. It doesn't feel like we've got enough time left to actually get those answers. Thank God. Yeah, but what's he attached to? What's all that stuff? Oh, you're going to be okay. Wow. Stop! Put your hands in the air. No. <laughs> that was quick. She hypnotized them so quick. Wow, that's a dangerous weapon that is. If it works that quickly. You know what you did by going back into that place was very very brave, Walter. Oh, that's calmed him down. Thank you, son. Got it. Now let's see if it really does what you said it would. <clears throat> oh, they think they've they finished it, do they? Here we go. Come on, I want to. It's still an apple. It worked. Did it? That's incredible. Thank you for your service. Did they just teleport the apple? I'm not entirely sure what that, what happened. Oh well. 
Okay, that was quite an intense episode. It had a very, very, again, a, a big picture sort of feel to it, especially the ending where we don't know who that guy was, we don't know who he was reporting back to, and we don't really know what that experiment was all about. He said it worked. Um, all I can assume is, is teleportation. But I don't know if that's got anything to do with the green and flashing lights. Is it? Is it? Uh, I don't know. But that green and flashing lights, if that's weaponized, that's deadly. Um, so I, I've got a funny feeling that we haven't seen the last of that. Mr. Kim. Turns out Walter going in there and talking to him did, did get the correct answers. Even if Walter did feel like it was insanity, talking about a red castle. It turned out that he was remembering that correctly. And it's kind of changed Walter, I think. It's given him a, I don't know, a reality check. A, a, it's kind of seeing things differently now. He, know, he knows what he wants. He, and he knows that he's not that anymore. He needs to start asserting his independence and... I don't know. I don't know where that's going. That's another... Feels like another big picture character development story there. I don't know what else to say about it. It's, I didn't spot the Observer. Um, so I don't know if he was in that episode or not. I said at the beginning that... <laughs> I, I never seem to spot it, but... Because we've got all that as well. The, those things that were came to Earth in, in the episode The Observer... And him being, you know, I still, I don't know how it's all fitting together. Still. And I know technically I'm not supposed to, not yet, but uh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> but the equation thing, that, that look feels like it's got a bigger picture. The character arcs for Walter and Peter seem to be developing. Um... We still need more information on the John Scott situation and the massive dynamic situation. But, yeah, okay then, yeah, it's a good episode. I, I enjoyed it, as you can tell. And I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>